Hey guys, I'm Marty Geek. In this video, I'm finally unboxing the latest Nintendo Switch Lite that just came out today for $199. Keep in mind, it comes in two other colors, yellow, turquoise, or teal, and of course, the gray one, which is the one that I decided to go ahead and get. Of course, like I said, it's $199 and it came out today, and I'm here going to go ahead and unbox it, show you guys the box, how it looks, and the initial setup, and, you know, try to see if I can play a little bit of gaming without having to download too much. But let's go ahead and see what's in the box, which honestly, I don't think is that much because it's tiny compared to the Nintendo Switch box when it first came out. So here, like you see, it says it only has a Switch and the cable charger. And that's it. In the back, you have the rear section or the rear part of the Nintendo Switch. And, of course, that's it. That's all you have. It has a very new, nice wallpaper there. Wouldn't it be awesome if Nintendo finally let us put wallpapers on a Nintendo Switch? Come on, Nintendo. That would have been awesome. Look at that, how cool that looks. Yeah, I'll have it just like that. Very simple. Let's put the box to the side. And here we got the, the Nintendo Switch in this little compartment here. There you got the Switch there. What else you got in here? You got, I don't know. Was I supposed to take all this out? <laughs> it has some instruction manual there. And you have the charging cable there. That's it. That's all you got. When we got the first Nintendo Switch, or well, the original Nintendo Switch, it was a whole bunch of things inside of the box, so this is less satisfying than that. So here you got, of course, instruction manuals, which are self-explanatory, honestly. Um, here you got the same charging cable, if I'm not mistaken, as the normal original Nintendo Switch. So you're getting the same cable. So there's nothing special there. Of course, it's cool if now you have two. Now here is the Nintendo Switch. Here you go. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, my God. Wow. Honestly, it looks smaller than I thought. <laughs> it looks way smaller, honestly, than it looks in video. Look at that. But it looks nice. Look at that here in the back. I like the Nintendo Switch logo, which is a white, white button. You got the ventilation here in the back. Here is the... Um, port where you're going to put the nintendo um, micro sd card right there that's where you're going to put the micro sd card which let's go ahead and put it right now i have a 200 gigabyte card that used to be for my nintendo switch but right now my normal nintendo switch has a 400 gigabyte card so now i'm going to go ahead and put the 200 gigabyte card to this one that way i can you know have good storage on both devices so 200 gigabytes honestly it's they're going very cheap right now so you could get on this one for around 30 dollars on sale so there you go it snaps in here now you got the speakers you got the speakers right here and right here you got the usb c port which it only works for charging it does not do video out which kind of freaking sucks and that's it so here in the front you got the buttons the normal buttons you got the plus button you got the minus button the thumbsticks they feel really good. They feel really good. I would say it's kind of similar to the original Joy-Cons. Um, here you got the the button home button. Here you got the capture button or the video capture button. And now you have a real, look at this. Now you have a real D-pad, which honestly feels tiny. <laughs> it does feel tiny. It does feel tiny. And here is another one. And that's it. Here in the top, you got it. You got the white buttons. Looks awesome. I think it looks nice. The gray with the white looks really cool. Here you got the cap the card. That's where your game card is gonna go. And you got the volume button and the power button. And the, of course, you got the headphone jack. And this is the grill ventilation grill. My Nintendo Switch ventilation grill over here, it disappeared. It got so hot that it melted out, and I ne I never even noticed when it fell off. There is a little tiny left, but I never ever noticed when it actually fell off. So it just one day I woke up and it wasn't there. So here, this is not going to fall off anytime soon because that is really solid. That looks really well done. So let's go ahead and turn it on. It's going to turn it on. Go ahead right away in that card i actually installed a whole bunch of games that i wanted to try from my nintendo switch now if you put a nintendo switch card 
to a new system supposedly it actually um formats the card and you can't use the installation button the installation games that you had on your other system so that's something that kind of sucks but i'm gonna try and see if i can get away with it you know i'm gonna try and see if i can actually um use those games but i don't think so so here of course view the agreements you can see that you can change the language there if you want accept next now it's searching for my internet so i'm gonna go and log into my internet here okay let me zoom in here a little bit more there you go connected to my device my internet and i'm gonna go ahead and change this to mountain time i live in el paso so i think el paso is basically same as um chicago i think it is same time okay let's go ahead and user here it's telling me to create a new user or import user data from another console if i do that it's to asking me do you still have the other console with your user and you want to import uh yes uh you will you keep using the previous console in addition to this one yes okay it says link the same nintendo account you use on the other console later why link a nintendo account link nintendo account a system update is required okay to link the accounts and says there's a system update required the system cannot up be updated during the initial setup please go to home menu and select system settings system setting system to form a system update later so I guess I can't link my account right now. That sucks. I'm going to have to do later here. It says continue. Cancel. No, it won't let me. Later. I'm going to have to create a new user. I'm going to use Luigi. The same. Skip. Uh, what's included in the service let's go next configure skip okay setup is complete yep skip press the home button and that's it system update let's go ahead and do the system update and it's going to go ahead and do the update right now let's go and wait for this to finish so like you see there there was an update available for the console i believe it's the latest nintendo switch update that became available a couple weeks ago press the same button three times there you go well, micro says this micro sd card is being used with another nintendo switch console or was used with this console before it was formatted the nintendo switch data store on a micro sd must be deleted for it to be used with this console that breaking sucks well i guess it has to be deleted then so i can use the new the card with the system that i was trying to i was trying to avoid to have to install all the games that i wanted to test in this video but like you see there it was not possible it was not possible so if you're using a card from another nintendo switch and you're gonna you're gonna be using two nintendo switch uh, you're not going to be able to use the same card on two Nintendo Switch. You're going to have to have to use separate cards for that. So there it goes. This is uh, right now. There's nothing here at all. I'm going to go ahead and put a video game there. That way we can see something on the screen. I'm just going to put Astro Shane there. Go there. There you go. The video game card goes right here. There you go. And there you have it. Astro Shane, I think Astro Shane actually has an update available. There you go, has an update available. It doesn't really take that long, but there it is. So this is how the Nintendo Switch Lite looks. I was going to lower the brightness a little bit there. Uh, you got the news, you got the store, you got the album, you got the controllers. Uh, controllers. Yes, you can link Joy-Cons to this if you want to. Uh, let's go and show you guys. Uh, yes, this is a 32 gigabyte uh, storage in the inside but in reality you have 25.9 gigabytes available 
when you get it out of the box so there's nothing different there this is the other card that i just put 177 gigabytes they see that download already finished and um here right now i have cloud saving i have cloud saving save cloud savings right here but i'm gonna have to go ahead and link a nintendo switch account which now i'm gonna have to link my switch that i'm using right because remember the save files are actually locked to your nintendo switch not the card the nintendo switch so for for me to use my save files from astro chain i would have to download the save file to my new system let's go ahead and sign in with an email and sign in id so i finally got to link my account here it says your account was successfully linked you can now enjoy the following features friend news blah 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 online presence let's go click ok and that's it so right here we were at the saving section right this is the all save data um, over here this is save data not on this console this is the section where you want to go if you have your games saved to the cloud via online subscription remember to save games to the cloud you need to have the online subscription service which is around twenty dollars a year if you get like a family plan i think it's like 35 dollars for five people something like that um, so right here what it's doing it's searching for all my save files that are not available here okay so there you have it finally this thing loaded up it took forever to load up my save files that are not on this system right now so this right here of course it says save data not on this console so all this is not on this console the game that we're going to play right now is astro shane so i'm going to go ahead and save that download save data to this console right there it's only 64 megabytes only 64 megabytes and look at that that is downloading to this console so that means there you have it download complete um automatic save data is uh set to automatic and that's it so for the, all the other games that i'm gonna be um using here i'm gonna be trying to upload another video in you know just gaming only i'm just gonna be downloading the ones that i'm gonna be using here um not for example bullet storm i definitely want to play bullet storm here i'm gonna try to do it today but you know there's some games here like nba 2k 20 that requires a whole bunch of download uh it, the huge the file is huge so i don't don't know if I'm going to be able to include that game on the video that I want to do for just gaming only on the Nintendo Switch today. But I'm still going to go ahead and download the save file. So this is basically what you do if you have a second console or you had the original console and now you want to pass over the save files, right? The save files that you had via cloud. If you don't have online subscriptions... Uh, which honestly I recommend to do it because if you have save files and you play invested a lot of hours of game time hours playing on your switch you want to save those files man you want to save those files to the cloud because if your console dies if you lose your console your console dies somebody steals it anything like that happens that you can't recuperate your Nintendo switch guess what your whole gaming save files are dead are done because they're not saved to the cloud and there's no other way that nintendo will let us to take the save files out of the card by using a usb c card or usb c drive there's no way other than having this option so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna go ahead and go back over here see i already did that the game already installed so i'm gonna go and load it up here fast okay game is loaded up and let's see if we can see our save file which we should see it right away because there you go there's my save file Yee -hee -hee! awesome let's go ahead and put this one let's go standard 14 15 let's go and load up this one load up yes baby that's awesome now remember this console right now is not set as my primary because the other the original console is set as my primary this right now would be my secondary console if i want to make this my primary console i would have to go to my original console deregister then when i log in back again then this one automatically becomes my or uh, my number one console look at that awesome oh my god actually looks 
pretty damn good. It looks pretty damn good. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa. Wow. Look at that. Audio sounds pretty good. This is full blast. Look at that. This is full blast. It sounds good. If I want to switch here. This looks good. Not bad. Gotta say, it looks pretty impressive. Really, really impressive. And I thought that the those screen the screen would look too small, but it doesn't. Honestly, the screen doesn't really look that small at all. It looks pretty damn good. So, wow, that's pretty good. So, guys, um, that's it for this video. I just wanted to do my initial setup of this console. Now, let's go and go ahead and here to, to the eShop for a second to show you guys that this should not be right now as my primary console. This is where you're going to be checking for it. Okay, so what you want to go is right here, over here, this little icon right there. Go all the way down. And right here says a different console is registered as your primary console. So right now you will need to be connected to the internet to play digital games only. The games that are downloaded digitally that are no cards. Those you need to be connected to the Wi-Fi or to the internet to play those games. If you're playing physical games like Astro Shane, you don't need to be connected to the internet. Uh, it says other users will not be able to play the software or content. You know, software content that you bought on the other one. And that's it. So that's how you check if you're the primary or not. I'm going to try to make another video showing you guys how to switch between consoles and save files and all that. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. And other than that, guys, this was a hands-on look of the Nintendo Switch Lite. Uh, it looks pretty cool. This is how it looks next to the next to the original one. Look at that. This is how it looks next to the original one. And for those that have the Nintendo or the PlayStation Vita. Look how it looks next to the PlayStation Vita. <laughs> that is so cool. Look at that. Not bad. Looks pretty nice. Pretty nice next to the PlayStation Vita. PlayStation Vita. One of my favorite consoles as well. And that's it, guys. So thanks for watching this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about the Nintendo Switch Lite. Like I said, stay tuned to my channel. I will try to make a video just playing video games only. Just playing video games on the console. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching this video. This was a hands-on look of the Nintendo Switch Lite. Honestly, it looks pretty damn good. good. It looks pretty damn nice. Feels great in my hands. It doesn't feel that tiny but compared to the nintendo switch original it does feel really small but the screen honestly is is big enough to actually enjoy those type of games like uh, zelda breath of the wild or astral chain in my opinion but wow looks pretty damn good i like the color i thought i was gonna regret getting this color the gray version but it honestly looks better than the gray joy cons that came with the nintendo switch original this is a different type of color gray and uh, the contrast with the white, it just looks really damn nice. So, guys, thanks for watching this video. This was a hands-on look of the Nintendo Switch Lite. Till next time. Bye-bye.